So the van's been around for, for quite some time and it started with Craig Stevens, who used to live in Ivanhoe Estate, which is a housing commission area in Ryde. And he used it for different purposes. He used it with youth as well in that area. Um, and then we repurposed it about a year ago because Ivanhoe Estate got shut down so that community wasn't essentially there anymore. And one of the biggest issues that we could see facing anywhere really is um, social isolation. And so we came up with the idea of making it purely a coffee van because people love their coffee. And we decided to take it into different areas in Ride to provide connection with people. I have a few tables and chairs that I'll often set up, which they're very quick, but there are some events where, or some places I go to where I basically open the tailgate and as long as I remember to turn the generator on half an hour before I get there and it's warm, um, I just open it up and I'm ready to go. So obviously the aim isn't just to serve coffee, but the, the aim is to create connection with people. So. While I, I want to be good and at making coffee, my main aim is to start conversations, find a connection with people and continue that connection so it can deepen and hopefully I can share the, um, a message of Jesus with them at some point as well. There's um, different schools I go to, but one, in, one of the schools in particular, there's um, a mother that just over the time of me coming along we've you know we started off just with fairly general conversation and then it moved into her sharing things about the struggle she has with her children and being a mum which all mums face so a as the time went on it got deeper and deeper into opening up and sharing about personal things and um, it was able to lead into sort of a faith conversation around that which is really great and so now when I see her, it's like, you know, seeing a best friend, I would say, like we, we're very close and she, I feel like she's extremely open with me. And so I think that's a really, really deep connection that I've formed there with her, so it's great. So I guess the, the main focus or vision I have for this is that I could create connection with people that leads to faith conversations. So I see it as a pathway to a faith journey. Um, in that, we also create communities of hope in, in the way that I would provide connection for people who do feel isolated, because I think there's, um, there's a real sense of hope that gets ignited in people when they have someone who's just there to listen. So I think that that's still a really important thing even if it doesn't lead to a faith journey as such, providing um, connection and brings hope to people. Yeah, that's what I'd say. So for me, I don't, I don't really feel like this is a, a job as such because I love, I love being able to connect with people and I love being involved in their lives and involved in their story. And, you know, we often think about the church as a building, but I am the church and I love that I can bring myself as the church into these people's stories and into these people's lives and hopefully make an impact. So that's what I love about it.